Hi, Louise Smith, fourth generation farmer at McGee in South Australian Mallee. Uh, just a small family farming operation spanning 5,000 hectares roughly and scattered across three farms. So we've got a hundred beef breeders, Charolais and Simmentales, which operate as a small stud, as well as a 500 flock self-replacing merino flock. Um, we're actually fourth generation farmers with the, on mum's side, we've been out here 99 years. So yeah, heading into a hundred year celebration next year. But so I've grown up on the farm all my life and I don't think I could trade it for anywhere. Yeah, it's absolute passion really. Buying in new rams and seeing genetics come through and watching your wool come across the table. And yeah, it's one of the highlights. Watching your genetics in your cattle as well as watching your wool clip each year. We've always been pretty high up on animal welfare. You've got to have happy, healthy livestock. They're your, they're your mates, they look after you, you look after them. So if they're not happy out the paddock or back out with their mums, you're underperforming, your whole operation's underperforming. We work off of a low stress with stock and everything's handled nice and calmly. So any procedure we do, it's always utmost that you've got to have animal welfare at number one priority. And yeah, with trisulfan, it's there. They come in, come in stress free and they walk out having their procedures and they're as low stress as they could possibly be. Now with our lamb marking, and trisulfan's always sitting there, it's a procedure, it's a must go to procedure on your lamb marking. It's, yeah, your lambs are straight back out of the cradle, straight back up in with mums. And yeah, straight mothered up and just ready to walk back out to a paddock, just you know, chilled out lambs, good for your bottom line. We started using trisulfan for the cattle as soon as it became approved. We'd seen the results we'd had in our lamb operation and how they recovered so quick from marking. And as soon as that was approved for cattle, it was like, yep, that's the go-to. Dehorning, castrating, we had trisulfan on hand, it had to be used. Since using trisulfan, we've noticed that everything, as soon as it's been applied to a wound, they're back up on their feet, back out with their mums, whether it's lambs or the calves, they're straight back in with their mums suckling, ready to walk back out the paddock and minimal blood. And yeah, they're just free moving out the paddock and yeah, no infections later on. You don't have to stress about having to bring them back in and recheck them all out. They're happy out the paddock with mums and functioning without a setback. We've noticed with the lambs as well as the calves, there's less bleeding, less hemorrhage. So they're back out the paddock, there's basically no mess at all. Nah, yeah, straight back up with mums and happy. Try sulfon, like, it's very, very easy product to use. It adds very minimal time to the procedure time whilst you've got stock in the yards and it's economical. You know you've got a pain-free animal at the other end. It's humane and yeah, it's just so easy to use and so economical. You'd be silly to look past it. I definitely recommend trisulfan to other producers. Cost effective, easy to apply and you notice visibly with your livestock that is so much more content as an animal. Back out the paddock grazing, mothered up, just yeah, top-notch product.